was so crazy. I was ready to show you this bathroom and how I have it simply just utterly organized. And um, I was particularly going to show you this little piece right here. And I was going to show you how wonderfully organized it was with all my makeups and stuff and how this was stuff I used daily. And this was stuff that I was going to, I had stuff in here. And it was stuff that I used daily that needed bigger a bigger drawer and this was kind of bulk stuff I was keeping and then this was bulk stuff that I was keeping as well so we had daily and bulk things <laughs> like so the daily and the weekly things were on the top and then as you went down it was bulk items you didn't need or use that much well it was so perfect and everything <laughs> but then I forgot to shut the bathroom door and the kids came in and now there's like jazz everywhere so I was picking it up because my lipsticks were in the top drawer in here and they can barely reach these and of course they got into some so I was picking up all the medicines and things and putting them back in the bin where they were and nice and organized and lovely and neat and I got to thinking okay if this system is such a good system and working so great then why am I picking up all this stuff and I know it's good to shut the door for the kids because, yeah. um, you know, they like to come in and play in the toilet and stuff too. <laughs> but really, the bathroom is one of the worst places to put a medicine cabinet, really. Like, put all your medicine. It's just because it's always humid and usually your medicines say to store it in a dry, cool place. So, I'm going to put them in the linen closet. It just has other issues itself. But there's plenty of room in this linen closet. Too bad there's no light in it. But like right here, before you get to all these blankets, there's all this wall space right there. Before you get to all the shelves where all the blankets and, and towels are. I should not have the washer on. I don't know if you can hear me or not. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them all in the linen closet and then get rid of this in the bathroom. Because really I don't need it in the bathroom. Maybe when the kids get older, you know, old enough to let things be, then I can have something like that in the bathroom where I can keep my makeup lower. But as it is, I need to keep it higher. So stay tuned for how I decide to organize my makeup because they were in these nice things. Uh, this, are, this is a great thing, by the way. It's from the container store. And you can buy these little drawer inserts for really cheap. You could probably just buy these inserts to put in a regular drawer and just you know, cut them down if they didn't fit or whatnot. But anyways, I love them because they slide in and out so easily. And I think I'm going to trade this, put this in a closet somewhere and probably do crafting stuff in it. I just wanted to share that with you because sometimes we don't realize things aren't working until we like <laughs> are so sick of picking up the medicine from the bottom of the floor for the umpteenth time <laughs> that we realize, you know what, there's probably a better way to be doing this. Uh, the last vlog I had was like reinventing the wheel and I, I know everybody was probably like just put your receipts in a dang drawer like a, um, a little recipe box or um, one of those zip up folders to go in a binder which is totally obvious I just wanted a receipt spike but I don't know I'm rethinking that but for now I really am using that little drawer in the receipt spike the little bamboo prong thingy and it's just keeping them in one spot. Just really a home. As long as it has a home, it really doesn't matter what it is. So. Okay. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to show you the after when I'm done with it. It's going to be fabulous medicine cabinet in my linen closet. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home.